Well, hello there, you wonderful humans, and welcome to Dredge, a brand new game available on Steam, where we discover the mysterious depths on a fishing boat. There's a lot more to it than that, but I do have some information in the description for y'all to check out. Uh, like I said, this is available on Steam, brand new game, don't really know what to expect, but it looks like a lot of fun, so we're going to dive right in. I guess, pun intended. Look at that pretty little boat. Just doing boat things. Job listing, angler wanted. And we're looking haggard. Okay. Oh, it's not actually, uh, nothing's happening in OBS. That's great. Is this happening in OBS? Oh, this one is. Uh, like I said, I was having trouble getting the game to show up in OBS. I think we're good now. Sorry, everybody. For some reason, OBS does not like this game. I don't know why. <laughs> what an intro. <laughs> well, y'all missed the cute little boat that we're in, but uh, other than that, everything looks good now. Look at that lighthouse. Doing wonderful lighthouse things. The morning light fills your eyes, and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. Well, that's always good. Oh man, look at this guy. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. It's Monday, day one, 0600. OBS hates fishermen. <laughs> Welcome to the Great Morrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish, see if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Okay. <laughs> right to work then, I suppose. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time, it can really creep up on you. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Ah, Tay Tay, it's alright. So we can go to. We just, I guess we're just gonna undock. Okay. Move forward with W, use S to reverse, and turn with A and D. Look at that nice little boat we got. We can rotate the camera, we can adjust the height. Okay. Oh. So move to a fishing spot for splashes on the surface. Plus press F to start fishing. Ooh, disturbed water. Um, so we got stock high in coastal. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's easy. We got a blue mackerel. I guess we'll place it in here. Oh, look at our inventory. We have to finagle all of these fish in there. So stock is now medium. Interesting, we've got another blue mackerel. Let's go to another spot, see what else we can get. I imagine each spot is gonna have their own things. Shallow, you don't have the right equipment for the spot. Intriguing. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. I think we're gonna stick to the bay this time. So, more coastal. Boop, boop, boop. Ah, another blue mackerel. I guess we're just gonna catch a lot of those. Fresh. Interesting. I know there's a lot to this game, so it'll be interesting to see how things kind of pan out for us. The ocean scares the crap out of me. Yeah, same. The ocean, the ocean is a terrifying place, let's be honest. Ooh, that's a different looking fish icon. Ooh, a cod. Interesting. This is very much like reminding me of uh, uh, the game where you travel west. You know, you know the one. We played a ton of it recently. Oh Lord, why is my brain not working? We kind of have to manage the inventory of your wagon, but instead of a wagon, it's a boat. The Oregon Trail, yes. It's like the Oregon Trail, but with fishing. 
We know more about space than we do our oceans. It's true, and it's terrifying. Do we have like a super boost button? I need me a super boost button. We got some, ooh, is that a shark bubble? Oh, it's on like, oh. We don't have, I don't think we have the equipment for Oceanic yet. So we're gonna stick to this area here. I'm just gonna try and make sure to get in before nightfall. If I could actually enjoy fishing, I would have to get the game, but I can't stay focused long enough to fish. <laughs> Sometimes it'd be like that. All right, can we rotate our fish? Boom. Then we'll boink that in there like that. Can we reorganize our boat? I have a better idea now. We go to, how do I get into my inventory? There we go. So let's go like this. Aha! Easy peasy lemon freaking squeezy. I don't know why we can't move the other things like our fishing rod and stuff, but we're packing them in thick. Yeah, it's like the Oregon Trail, but with fishing. Oh, what's that over there? Ooh, it's almost dark. Ooh, squids. That's new. Oh, Christ. I'll catch two more squid, and then we'll head back in. I don't know why I'm struggling with that particular one. Ha, ha. All right. I think I get too bored if it's only fishing. Well... Thankfully, it's not just only fishing, but we got to get in before the freaking fog. Look at this eyeball hunting us down. Select your lights by holding E, then toggle with... Ooh. Exposure to fog and other things increase your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Lord, okay. This isn't just fishing, ladies and gentlemen. If you think, if you done thunk, it was just fishing. Oh boy, were you ever so wrong. Ever so freaking wrong. You step onto the dock at Great Tomorrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off the town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to- Oh, it's the new Tom Nook. Oh my god. <clears throat> also, does it sound like I'm peeking? I had to turn off my compressor because I think that was the thing that was uh, causing the popping. Uh, so please tell me if I'm peeking and weird things are happening when I yell because I don't have a compressor now. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, your old... Oh, yeah. You're also on the new Tom Nook. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Mm -hmm. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. Yeah. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Uh, yeah. Off you go, then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. The fishmonger? Ah, uh -huh. the dirty old fishmonger. This dude looks suspicious. Oh, yeah. Panning for gold and dredging for fish. You enter the squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Mm. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? <laughs> e it takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on the islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you've got. Mm, 682 for some blue mackerel. Uh, F to sell. 632. So the size of the fish is going to dictate how much money we make, too. Ooh, squids. A pretty little penny for some squid. What about these cod? Ooh. 
Oh, baby. Making some money. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the dock. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? What is it? A research part? Alright. Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. Well, well, well. The plot thickens. Did you say this smells fishy? I need to blow my nose. Does mayor look sus? Oh, it's the sussiest mayor that has ever mayored, for sure. To the shipwright. To the walls! To the fish drip down your balls! As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. Uh. You must be that new fisherman! I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard! Mind you, I'm not the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front. Everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on it, I'm not going to do that voice anymore. <laughs> any damage to the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Okay, sweet. So she's a gangster. Ooh, a weighted line. Catches shallow. And a simple skimmer. Ooh, I kind of want to wait. Fishing speed plus 40%. Like, I'm going to save for that Biggly Wiggly one. We can do bigger motors. We got nets and we got lights. A cloudy lens. Let's fish, boys. Yeah, let's rest. Resting until dawn. And let's undock, baby. She looks like she's got a nice grip on that wrench. <laughs> Giggity? Giggity freaking goo. There's poo in my shoe. What you gonna do with that big fat fish? Okay, that's shallow. We can't do that. Oh, that's my boat shadow. I was like, what in Sam hell is that? Oh, these are these squids? What are these bad boys? Okay, we can't catch those. There's like a message in a bottle right there, though. I really don't want to catch... What is this? Wait, why? Items left here will be lost. Oh, because we could probably pick like with the size that we want to keep. What is this? So that's an 18.3 centimeter one. Hmm. Catch fish, make bank. Sounds about right. What's this? Added to the cabin. Hmm, baby, baby. Someone actually pooped in my shoe back in middle school. It's the effing worst. <laughs> what in Sam Hale? I definitely want as many of these as I can catch, because these give you the big money. Money, money, money. The music is gone. The night is dark and full of fishes. I'm assuming we can upgrade the boat at some point. Yeah, we uh, we were just in the process of doing that. We can speed up the boat. We can make the boat bigger, improve storage, improve the things that we can fish. Probably like those shark boas right there. I don't want any more of those fish. I want to find those squid again. Those were worth a lot of money. But only when fresh, sell them fast. You know it. Oh, yes. Medium stock. And I have a feeling that the sharks are going to be super hard to catch. Boom. Nailed it. Man, these fill up the, the boat real nice, like. Oh, shoot, it's almost nighttime again. Uh, what do we got here? Are these more squids? I, 
think squids start showing up closer to night. Oh god. I don't know what happens at night, but it can't be good. Oh lordy lordy! <laughs> oh god, how do I turn the lights back on? <laughs> Just popping in for my lunch break to remind everyone to smack that like button for more Tag Back TV goodness. Aw, yeah! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the 35 months, you wonderful human. You're a scholar and a gentle person. The hell was that noise? Did you hear that? Find out what happens at night? We will one day. We're going to get real greedy one day. Hmm, the fishmonger. I have a special order come through for a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal prices. Okay. They asked for one gull flounder and one gray eel. Okay. So they're in the shallow waters. I think we have enough to buy the shallow water things now. Hmm. How much money do we got? Ooh, 269 doll hairs, baby. We'll get the weighted line. Install time three hours. Yeah. We'll put that bad boy, I guess, here. Boom. So we can now hold less fish boys. So a rusty outboard engine. Speed plus 10 knots. I feel like having two engines would be nice. Make us move faster. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing good now. So we can catch coastal and shallow fish now. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps of the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish, lady. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path and leads to the light. Well, well, well. Okay. The mayor. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards the Little Morrow? Would you give this package to the dark worker there, please? The Little Morrow. Uh... Boop. Hands you a small, damp package. Ha! <laughs> That's what she said. I don't want it to spoil, so we gotta do it quick. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Gotta find them fancy fishes. Fancy fish all day. I think this is the eel that we need. Ooh, disturbed water. Oh, Christ. Boop, boop, boop. That's different. Okay. Oh, and it takes up three holes. How about... Who do... Oh, man. All right, what's the other thing that we need, then? This game is pretty. It's interesting, right? I like it. I think it's pretty nifty. I've been excited to check it out. Boat, 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 boat. All right, so we gotta go to Little Morrow, Greater Morrow. Is the X where we need to go? I'm a little boat, boat, short and boaty. JR, sweet baby beluga whale. Thank you so very much for the 10 gift memberships. Jens, Usagi, Sina. Pithy the Violins, Lucky Doo, Eric, Cassidy, Big Boss, Wolf, Curve, and Melinda. Welcome and welcome back, some of you. Hmm, a delivery. Let's see here. Yeah. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. $25, make you holla. Nice. 
pulls a crumpled book from his pack pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it when you're on the water. Interesting. Ooh, there's a traitor. Every time Tag shows us a new game, I cry a little. Oh no. I believe this is the other thing that we need. Ah, uh, the goal flounder. Thick inventory hog. Oh, I can't hold another one of those. Alright, can we finagle this in a more intelligent way? Store more fish? It's like Tetris, but with fish. Not going to Steam to check this out. <laughs> Not catching any of those. What's that right there? They see me boat in. I am very curious to know what happens if we stay out too long and lose our sanity. I know there's like two different kind of things going on in this game. There's terrors in the deep. There's a reason nobody else is fishing in this area anymore. Never heard of this game? It just came out today, in fact. God dang it, buddy. Boom. Alright. Take me home tonight. Nothing like scary night fish. Yeah, eventually we'll probably have to survive out on the water for long periods of time. To go for deeper and more majestic fishes. Alright, we've got the fish manga. Have you got that fish for order? Just leave whatever you have here. I'll take the order. Okay, so we need one of those and one of these. Ooh, 55 bucks. Mmm. I've got another one. Here's uh, one for a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. There are so many people fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. Okay. Um, that explains why they're worth so much more money. Oh, wow. These eels and stuff, they don't sell for much more than the squid. Which means we should just keep catching squid. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news! I forgot what the mayor's voice was already. Uh. Oh god, what was the mayor's voice? <laughs> Thanks! Oh god dang it! Thanks partly to our efforts, Greater Mar was growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. You might have something to talk about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. I don't know if that's the voice, but that's his voice now. Ah. Thick lady shipwright. Coming in hot. Gonna fix up our boat. And we're gonna get some more space. Uh, how do I get the materials? Uh. There's plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you can find a way to get to them. Materials assigned towards upgrades will be here stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Okay. Whoa! Rod spaces, net spaces, engine, and light. Um. You know what? We're going fishing at night, baby. We gonna catch some squids. We're gonna turn our freaking lights on first, though. I think I saw some squids around here. You know. We getting greedy, ladies and gentlemen. I did it all for the squids. Man, it's hard to navigate, though. With the fog. Um, oh, Christ. Alright, maybe this was a bad idea. Never mind, I can see just fine. This is fine. This is great. 
Oh, 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 the light's out, the light's out, the light's out, the light's out. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not scared, you're scared. <laughs> I don't like that at all. I've watched way too many horror movies to know when the lights go out at random, things are going awry. <laughs> I've watched way too many horror movies. About that life. Let's see what's going on over here. Johnny, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're having a good day. You don't have the right equipment for this. We need stuff to dredge. Is that what we do? We need to buy that? God dang it, Bobby. What is this? Oh, Lord. Oh. Oh, Lord. What in Sam hell is going on here? This thing better be worth it. What the hell is this sell for? God dang. But ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying Dredge, like would be greatly appreciated. We're going to be playing some more Small Land later this evening. And I uh, really do hope we enjoy the, uh, the multiple streams today a little bit. What are the shiny things? Talk about the, the lights, the buoys. They're buoys. We gotta see if we can buy some dredging stuff. Dual stream Thursday. Trying to get back into the groove of doing uh, dual streams again. Especially now that there's a bunch of new indie games coming out that we can we can play. Fish manga. Do I have the fish? No, I definitely don't have the fish. I didn't find groupers yet. Hmm. Alright, so sell this. How much does this sell for? 65! Alright, the stingray, worth it. Dustin, would it do? Aw, oh, and dances. I'm sorry you're not having a good day. A man's wife was really mad at him because she had no sense of direction, so he packed up his stuff and right. God dang it, Bobby. God dang it. Right, so we can get more lenses. Lumens. How do I dredge things, though? Two engine spaces. My dumb. Shallow. But not to repair anything. I guess maybe we should get another light. I guess we'll get the 750 lumen light. I don't know how to dredge stuff, though. So what's this? A curious-looking component could be used to develop new equipment, but I would need some investigation at the dock first. How do I do that? How does one investigate? Hmm. Oh, research. Ha 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 ha. Whoa, a volcanic? A hydraulic rod for hydro... Whoa. And flexible and coastal. Oh. Oh. Abyssal? What? 
All right, well, let's uh, let's get the hydraulic rod so we can start catching some sharks. It's now available in the stores. And I don't have any other research parts. We can get pots and nets? What? Okay, this is... The plot thickens! Oh my god, $410. All right. Yeah, so there's, there's going to be some weird stuff going on. New game? Yeah, it came out today. It's a game where you go out fishing, and apparently there's horrible, horrible things out here in the in the deep. Oh, new cabin. Pursuits. Two arrow squid and one black grouper. Perfect. Message in a bottle. What is this? Morning of the second day of the honeymoon, and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets of the Black of Greater Morrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are oh so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night Julie. He did fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took this more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, unless you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain Ocean's Riches was a good name. I think he, he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half-hidden stuff under the blanket at the front of the cabin. Love it when he tries to be romantic. I think they done died! All right, so we gotta find Black Grouper. I'm gonna have to hit the street corner. Yeah, I'm broker than a dollar store hooker right now. But we'll make some money back. It'll be all right. Let's gotta find some Black Grouper. What's the... I just saw the question mark for this. What's that all about? A floating buoy. It serves to mark safe passage. Dangerous rocks and all... Oh, okay. A brief respite from the gloom of the night. Interesting. Let's find some grupa. Can we scroll through here? Can't do any dredging yet. What is that? I don't think we can catch whatever this is, but I'm going to try. Nope. Ooh, that was weird noises. The clock is crazy fast? Yeah. Little too fast. What the hell is that? A barbed eel. A spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. What the hell? Why is that pink? Am I losing my mind? Because of that? Is that abyssal? What insane! Oh, look at that! What the hell is that? Under the water. Oh, why has this got some little dots coming out of it? What the hell? What the hell is this? Disturbed water, oceanic. What was that? Oh, dolphins! Where does one catch a grouper? How do people get motivated to do laundry? Ah, oh, what a wonderful question. <laughs> I have no answer for you. This looked sparkly. Why is it sparkling? The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface. Vanishing before your eyes can focus them. Place your hand on the stone. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Becca! Thank you for becoming a super being. Welcome back to the community. This fish is worth a buttload. So I'm going to catch one. Page. I'm so sorry to hear that. 
You think Grouper would be by the rocks? What rocks? Oh, what's that? No, nope, that's not a Grouper. Maybe they show up at night along with the other things? Night is dark and full of noops. Hello, little grouper. Ooh. Oh, god dang it. I've been doing so good not crashing into everything. Ooh, what's this? I bet this is grouper right here. Yep. All right, one grouper, and then we need two eels. There's always eels as we go back to the back to the base. I don't like that eyeball. I'm doing creepy eyeball things. Oh Christ. No. No. I don't like it. What the hell was that? Hello. Man, where are the squids when you need them? Are you serious right now? Oh, what a dick move, game. Where's the squids? No. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, hell no. Something's afoot. Oh, hell no. Oh, God. Rock. What the hell was that? There's a little sparkle over here. Oh, it's the lighthouse tower. All right. Everything's fine. We're good. Everything's great. Oh, please be more squid. Please be more squid. That's not squid. I need one more. Hello. You've got to be kidding me. Is that squid? Thank God. All right, let's get the hail back to town. Lord have mercy. I think the red-eyed means I've been slowly... Something slithers into my cargo hold! What the hell infected? Infected with what? I'm gonna sell it. <laughs> I'm gonna sell it right now. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent banks is an important part of being productive. Take my dirty fish. I didn't mean to burp right into the microphone. I'm getting old and just it just happens now. <laughs> he gave me full money for it. <laughs> oh, we could get crab pots now. Nice. This new skull and bones. You've got customers after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. Uh, I did not pay attention. You had you hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. <sighs> oh, now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish. As though feeling for something, he pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open from its stomach, and he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Huh. I'll give you th this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish, too. 
Okay, so we got 33 bucks for that. A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the inside of a grotesque fish patterned with del delicate crimson thread. What the hell? I want to sail that. So lasts for two days, yields one to two per day. Capacity three by three. Simple crab pot can be deployed out at sea. Should I buy another one? A hundred doll hairs! I wish somebody would rub my fish. Well, Jesus Christ, that's, that's, that's something. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you want to heal. I'll be waiting. Okay. Creepy, creepy, creepy. I'm moving into our first house, starting my first job in five years. With all the crazy and exciting that goes with you, <laughs> that your streams have been my comfort. Thank you so much for everything you do. Bella, congratulations. freaking lations I hope you have a fantastic time. Good luck to you. Right, we need to sleep. We're losing our minds. I think we are refreshed now. So select crab pot ability with E and deploy one with blah. You can catch things over time, but need repairing every so often. So let's do crab pot. Um, so there's plenty of crabs here. Yeet one of those out there. That's the only crab pot we got. I forgot how much these sold for. Let's catch a bunch of these real quick. Oh! What the hell? A Cyclopean Flounder? What in Sam Hill is going on here? Oh. Oh. Man, oh man, we're just gonna make some quick money. I wanna get an oceanic rod before we go exploring to new regions, you know? The fishing is actually kinda good, I like it. I imagine it's gonna get more difficult, but so far, so good. It's the one-eyed flounder snake. <laughs> Boom. Pothead crabs. I don't know, man. I don't know. The fish manga. $64. Did we get something interesting from it? No. Ooh, we have enough for the the Rod of Doom. So let's... How do I get... I guess we can put that there now. I need to figure out how to get more of those research tokens. I imagine we can't catch very many deep water fish. Maybe shouldn't go out at night. Let's go check our crab pot. Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Oh, look, there's this weird icon on the grouper over here. We tried to do that to one of the deep water fish, but couldn't. Of course I don't have the shallow rod on me anymore. 
Why would I? God dang it, Bobby. Now I'm doing what I said we shouldn't do, which is explore the freaking nighttime stuff. God dang it. What am I doing with my life? The shipwright looks like she would pimp slap you around with the pipe wrench. Oh, for sure. For sure. That's what I was looking for. Right here. Oh! A brood squid! That doesn't sound good at all. In fact. God dang it, I don't have the shallow rod on me no more, and now there's no sharks anywhere? God dang it. <laughs> well, give me something good out here. Make it worth my while. Where are you at, bubbly goodness? Oh, that's a lot of squid. That's a lot of money right there. Oh, another brood squid. Tag, when, when have you ever done what you do? <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. All right. Losing my mind, everything's great. I know this is rock, oh, there it is. A crab. Free-ish. Hmm. Fisherman, what is it? You look a touch troubled. Is the fog starting to get to you? Completely normal around here. Nothing to worry about. With a good night's rest, you'll be all right as rain in the morning. Mm-hmm. Mm, freaking hmm. Another 91 doll hairs. Oh, I should repair our boat. Ugh, that's expensive. Alright, so let's go figure out where we need to go to learn about these crazy fish that we keep catching. I said we needed to go south. 12 hours remaining. Might as well take that crab now, then. Bo, thank you for becoming a bean. Oh, that's not far. It's like literally right there. I thought we were going to have to go a lot farther than that. Oh, our first shark. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Big money, big money, big money. The bronze whaler. Oh, Lord. What's this round hill? I want to know what. Oh, Christ. Oh, the all seeing cod. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's terrifying looking. Oh, god dang it, Bobby. So I'm assuming that's what that icon is. Definitely a one-eyed monster right there. That thing had multiple eyeballs, though. Ah, oh, the ruined mansion. Oh, there's a workshop here. The man is standing at a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. 
I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasure and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector and he holds it up to a flickering light and studies it. Mm -hmm. Hmm. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance, as you can imagine. Retrieving them is proving to be a challenge. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I would outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks in dark depths. Ah! Find me these lost relics, and I'll reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You can not give your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours in your vessel to make the necessary alterations. Okay. Sounds good to me. So we're looking for a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. Ask around the towns about shipwrecks and other strange occurrences. Anything that might be of worth investigating. Noise? What's the workshop do? Go inside. Take a moment to let your eyes adjust to the dim light. What do you want to do in here? Pick up items? You find some horrifying creations? Whoa. An arterial engine? What? The bony blade of this grotesque engine are driven by a pulsing heart. It beats in time with your own? What the hell? Oh, I have to install it? And then a sign of ruin. A symbol of the deep is carved into the small talisman. It's sure to draw the attention of those attuned to it. What the hell? Okay. Put that right there. <laughs> Feeling prepared is the achievement I just got for, for that. Interesting. This game is getting creepy. Yeah. Oh. Just a little bit. Wow, wow, wow. Gotta go sell some fishy bits. Boom, boom, boom. And you joined a cult. <laughs> Dredge. What the hell is this? Huh? What? Huh? What the frickety frackety frick is... Oh, I get it. Oh, god dang it, Bobby. Holy Christ on a muffin. Oh, man, it's dark now. Angela, thank you for becoming a super bean. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, thick boy fiddler crab. Needs repair. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back for that big boy crab though. What's the creepy eye up top? My uh, sanity meter. So sell it. Oh, I sold everything. Hundred and forty-two dollars. Okay. Let's put this ring in storage. I'll go back out and pick up that crab. And the fiddler crab. And then they took up like the whole boat. Pick up. To get stuff in the cabin. Pursuits. What are we oops? What are we pursuing right now? One common crab and a fiddler crab. And I just sold the regular crab. Needs repair. How do I how do I repair it? I think we're just gonna sell the fiddler crab. Thirty-four dollars, sure. And then how do I can I repair this here? Sell. Hmm. 
A new one is a hundred dollars, which doesn't make any sense. Cause this thing broke instantly. And it's only been a day. Hmm. Wonder if I can repair it at the ship, right? Ah, nice. So we can fix it here. There we go. Repair all 15. Way cheaper. Okay, that's that. That's that makes sense now. Let's uh, let's get another crab pot then. Then we can set two of these bad boys out and make some money that way. And it's just learning all these little mechanics, you know. So what we can do is we can. How did I set the crab pot out like this? So there's plenty of crabs here. And there's plenty of crabs here. Skirt, 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 skirt. Oh, what the hell was that? Did you see that? What the hell was that? Some just launched something at us. Oh, hell no. The mayor appears in front of you on the dock. His face swims before your eyes. His words blur with the waves crashing around you. Ah, okay. If, see, fog, shapes, rest. Careful. Nightmares. You stumble past him into town. Oh. Oh, that's fun. Lord. We got the lighthouse keeper. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Hmm. There's a spot near the back of the Greater Mara where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Okay. The Builder. Sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea, she turns to you. What's it like out there? It's, uh, it's peaceful. It's gotta be darn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not to come back. Going backwards is a mistake. I can't go back. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. Okay. Interesting. We're not going to listen to that advice, are we? When have we ever listened to any advice? Ever. Not one time. And we never shall. Ooh, shark bait. Ooh, ha ha. how much these sold for, if they're worth actually catching. A uh, small problemo. They no feet. It's a no feety. Sorry. I'm pick up this trash right here. Oh, god dang it. Bobby, Bobby, ba bah. I'm making it way more difficult than it needs to be. There we go. Some metal scrap. God dang, that's huge! Uh, what the hell? Man. God, more scrap. It's freaking huge. Uh, man. What's going on, AA Ron? How you doing? Oh, what the hell is that? I'm gonna touch it. 
A slab of rock just outside the water bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. Oh, I think I know what it wants us to give it. We need to give it cursed fish dudes. Why was the archaeologist crying? Because he realized his was career in ru his career was in ruins. Lord have mercy. Aram, thank you for the super chat and dad joke. And check your cabin and read the books there. Uh, we read the one book that we have. Well, actually, I think we have another book that we can read too. Hold well, Husky, put a little closer. Look inside. Oh, a ring. Oh, a research part. An old iron chain. And a ring. I don't know if this is what we were looking for. We also got lumber. Ooh. Nice. Alright, so that's how we get that stuff. Hmm. Great, a sacrificial altar. Yeah, just what we needed, right? Thank you both for the super chats. There was definitely evil afoot. Oh, look at that in there. Well, how much room do we got? I got enough room for a cursed dude. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, shoot. I'm going to research that dual action rod so that way we can fish all the things all the time. I'm going to expand our storage too. We need a thicker inventory. All right, we got a small crab. We need a fiddler boy too. Oh, noise. $10 says the mayor's in on it. <laughs> Probably. Ooh, $70 for one of these bad boys. That's nice. So, if we go to the dry dock now. Wait, what? Bolt of cloth and lumber. So this is for... Modifies four rod spaces to also hold nets. A light space. I want a new hull. 500 doll hairs! So I'll stick some some rods in there. We need bolts of cloth. I guess we'll slowly just start filling up all these things. Well, this one also needed this. Okay, I don't think we need chains for anything. Nope. Looking good. Put that custom rod in there. The sign of ruin. I don't know if we want to mess around with that yet. And we want to research the flexible fishing rod. Oh, I need two? Oh. Hmm. That's rude. Man. So there's that, that black light. I think we need to go out there at night is the problem. It's a bit unfortunate. Holly, you changed your name. What you doing, Holly? How have you been? I was wondering if you would play this. Oh, yeah. Can we put a bet on the boat? No, I don't think sleeping out on the boat is a good idea. I think it's about as bad as an idea as you can get, honestly. 
We haven't seen what happens when we go insane, but it really cannot be good. $68 make you holla. Oh. What do you think happens to a person that eats a flesh of one of these mutants? Uh, they go mad? Well, perhaps. But I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. And he will do. Just keep this between the two of us. He's gonna eat one? Oh, no. That can't be a good idea. That dude's gonna go insane. That can't be a good idea at all. Well, we need two insane versions of these. Well, I don't have the, the shallow rod. You can sleep at most docks, you think? Yeah, I can sleep at most docks. I do sleep on the boat, but I have to sleep, like, at a dock. Skirt, 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 skirt. I like this game. I don't know. What do y'all think? Y'all been watching? What you What you thinking? With your big old brains. Obviously, we haven't explored a ton of the game yet. Ooh, shipwreck. Oh lord. Ha, 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 ha. Nailed it! Ooh, a bronze belt buckle. Is this one that we needed? I don't remember. What do we get from turning these in? You like the vibes? Are they vibin'? Ooh, bolt of cloth. Okay. I think these upgrades are going to be very important, so... I'm going to spend a little bit of time instead of fishing. We're going to try and get these bolts of cloth. This will get us our... One of our upgrades. I want to get the whole upgrade bad. Oh, Christ, on a muffin. time real fast like time to get the hell out of here Love a good Eldritch game. You seem to enjoy it. Yeah, I'm liking it. Like, I think we found two new really good games. Small World and this one. Oh, what the hell? Is that a freaking ghost ship? Oh, hell no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, why is it chasing me? Oh, God. What the f what the hell? Oh, it's a f oh Christ! Go 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 go! Oh, absolutely not! Our lights just went out too. Touch it! Screw you! Uh uh! Not today. We needed a uh, another wood, a boat of cloth. There we go. Now we need one more. I feel like having another light would be nice. We need two wood for that, and then uh, nets. I would like to have nets. Uh, we need another cloth for that. And 
details it's entirely worn away. Junk to the untrained eye, but there's good material someone might pay for this. Interesting. I'm gonna keep storing these and we'll take them to Dude Bro McBroface here in a little bit. I'm gonna unequip this and we're gonna go. No! Nah! We still got a little bit of insanity in our eyeball. And you gotta be really careful. You can cruise for a bruise and real fast in this game. Like it gets night really quick if you're not paying attention. I don't remember how much we were making from these. Let's see if we can get a cursed thing. Never mind. They're actually all fishermen that used to fish there. Hmm. Wanna catch more deep water things? We only caught two so far. I've seen like swordfish and stuff. What's this? Coastal. Ooh. Take those, they sell for a decent amount. Maybe we can get an abyssal one. I have enough for one big fish. What's this? Is this wood? That's more rings. The ghosts just want to hug you? Yeah. I think not. I've watched way too many horror movies to, uh, to know something ain't right. I'm Gucci. What's this? Ooh, more of those? Ah, there we go. Perfect. Oh, what the hell is that? The fanged cod. God, that's a pretty fish. You got a pretty mouth, fish. Ooh, just in time. Was the stingray worth it? Yeah, the string the stingray was pretty good. I think we got sixty for that, something like that. Ooh, there's another abyssal thing, an abyssal squid right here. The snag squid. God, look at that monstrosity. Ooh, there's another abyssal thing right there, but I think we should just go back in right now. What it do, Kai? How are you today? The fish monger. I got you, your mutant fish. Any aberrant will suffice. Fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, bringing his hands around its slimy body. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth, and why don't you take these too? Ooh, research parts. Oh, don't mind if I do. You hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen, silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Oh! Oh, that's great! Maybe eating the abyssal fish, not the greatest idea in the world. Oh, wow. 60 bucks for a fanged cod. God dang. The fishmonger slams the door behind you. You hear the heavy scrapping of metal bars sliding across it. Oh! This is not going to go well for this dude, is it? The heat-resistant line and the anti-tangle line for the mangrove. Uh. Alright, so you can buy the flexible fishing pole now. Oh, that was expensive.
Oh, if I have two fishing rods, does that mean I can catch two types of two fish at the same time? Ooh. Intriguing. I wonder. Ooh, pots. A hearty crab pot. A large crab pot. So three days, three, two per day. And it lasts for five days. And it's four by four capacity. Two to three per day for an efficient crab pot. We don't have nets yet. I'm going to save my research token, dudes. I don't know what I want to use on them yet, but... So we can do coastal and oceanic. Oh yeah, never mind. I need to make money now. I like the customizability of this. This is really cool. Becky, how are you? We have to. Yeah, we'll pick up those crab pots tomorrow. I'm gonna try and catch a. Uh... I want to catch. An abyssal flounder? Did we did we ever see how much one of these were worth? A gulf flounder. I'm just gonna. I don't know. I feel like the abyssal things are worth a buttload. But so are the sharks. I imagine like an abyssal shark would be buku bucks. He sounds very friendly with fish. Yeah, it's very descriptive, isn't it? Maybe if I... I can only carry one of these at a time. It's a big bummer. Oh? Oh! <laughs> Two. Two for one special. Hail yeah. The Flappy Boy is right there. Give me the Bissell one. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give nope. Man. Love the fish <laughs> fish fish tetris on point. <laughs> it's the only way to be. God, it's almost nighttime already. I kind of want to know what happens when you Bodie McBoatface into one of the ghost ships, though. Oh, I got to go all the way over there. There's a letter. I can't ignore it. It's calling to me like a siren. We got to conserve our, our lights a little bit. And there's a shipwreck over here. There's like a... Do you see this little anchor thing that's lighting up at the top? What's that? Does it mean I'm near a shipwreck? It's gotta be. Because there's a shipwreck right here. We've been here before. Don't like the night time. They did a really good job of making this game feel creepy at night. No room for it. Dang it. What the hell is that? Protect me, lighthouse. The gauge is looking a little low. Yeah, I'm not looking very fresh. Uh, 
Ugh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Man, okay, that's no good. Yeah, don't eat the abyssal fish, ladies and gentlemen. It's nighttime. We're going out. We're risking it for the biscuit. It's when all oh, look, there's a ghost ship out there. Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, so dumb. hoping to find like an abyssal shark at night really bring in the oh what the hell was that ah something oh I've been penetrated by the darkness man this is what happens when I'm trying to bring home all the money for little Timmy and my children oh. little Timmy and his, his cane needs a new walking stick Christ. Ooh, that was different. And just trying to feed my family. to repair these uh these crab pots man look at that eye it's getting really crazy right now though sell all how much did i make 138 bucks shoot and we got damaged dang it So some of that money <laughs> went away real fast. Okay, so the dry dock, we still need some cloth. We need cloth and two wood. And we have enough money to unlock the hole, which is $500. That's expensive. I think we're going to ignore the crab pots for now. And look, our eye is still very unhappy. I think it's because we haven't slept. So it looks like our like our vision changes a little bit during. Maybe it's just my imagination. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Let's see if we can find the wood. There's a dock we can rest that over here too. Sure, I'm not going crazy. I could very well be going crazy. Ooh, pearl earrings. Mm, fancy. Ooh, there's a shipwreck. And a dock we can sleep at. Is this cloth? This is wood. I'll take it. I just want to know how much new space we're going to get with the uh, the upgraded hull. Is this just scrap? Ah, another ring. That was close. Ooh, a goblet. cloth.
group are thick. There we go. All right, maybe we should go to sleep. Oh, there's a material pile? Oh, where well, that person wants all the stuff. That's good to know. It's a peaceful game, but also a little terrifying. Y'all hit the like button, it'll restore tag sanity. <laughs> maybe. Or maybe I'm just born to be insane. A fisherman out on the sea. Always prepared for death. Oh, what's with the wind? What the hell is this? That's new. Huh. Most peaceful feeling. So now we got nets. Oh, we have to do all of them. God dang it, Bobby. Ooh, basic trawl net available in stores. Nice. So let's see here. We need one more scrap and one more wood. How much is a trawl net? What does this do? So install time, a simple design will passively catch basic fish when deployed. A wise investment for those that want to explore the oceans. Yield eight per day. Huh. That might very well come in handy. This game for PC only? Uh, probably. Something like that. Just one of these. Oh, 32 bucks for a grouper. Shoo! Come sail with me. Let's sail. Let's sail away. Even though we're not sailing, because this is not the kind of game you sail in. Oh no, this is the Flat Boys. I don't think they sell for a lot. The Stingrays, though, they sell for a pretty penny. Available on PS5, Switch, and elsewhere. Nice. Dolphins! If they're so cute. Doing little dolphin things. This is the farthest out we've gone so far. <gasps> Swordfish. Let's go. Ooh, these are hard to catch. Oh, god dang it. Nailed it! A sailfish. Oh, that's got to sell for a buttload. I don't know if these are worth dredging up or not. Man, we are out in the middle of nowhere. You pull up to a wreck with a familiar looking hull. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor, except this one has a huge breach on one side. Great! You tie it up alongside the old wreck. Uh, check the cargo. You poke through the cargo hold, a few items remain. Not yet lost to the sea. A weak valve engine. Oh. Metal scraps and a basic fishing pole. Hmm. Oh. Dang, 
so that's 18, and 14, and 10. So I got more than that already. Uh, look in the cabin. You're in the cabin. Look in the cupboards trying to find loose floorboards. There aren't even any floorboards left. You're in the cabin. Check the overhead electrical equipment. Still there. A note slips from the top. You put it in your pocket to read later. Oh. That's good. This is great. Completely normal. I'm gonna go to this new town over here. Because it's closer than the other town. Oh, what the hell is that? see what this is. Ooh, that's a new fish. A black sea bass. There's still an abyssal creature here. Oh. Ooh, that's ugly. Back to our town. What the hell is that noise? What the hell is this? An ocean perch? That's a new. find anything fun on the way back. Uh, yes, Natalie, this is a new game. It just came out today. Ooh, wind. By now you have so much stuff in your cabin to read. Yep, I know. I just don't feel like reading it right now. What's with the wind? Figure that out eventually, I assume. I'm not in the reading a novel kind of mood at the moment. I do believe the wind is directing us somewhere. Where? I don't quite know yet. But we'll figure it out. Wouldn't mind catching another stingray. They sold for a lot. I haven't seen another stingray spot. That was a long, kind of long boat ride. I know they said at the beginning that there's other places that we can sell our fish. I haven't found another town yet that actually offers that, though. All right. Ooh, eighty-seven dollars for the sailfish. Nice. Eleven for the black sea bass. Twenty-three for the scouring. And five for the ocean perch. Modifies two cargo spaces to also hold engines. And then we need one more wood for the light space before I can finally get the new hole. 
which requires... That's five new cargo spaces. That's it for $500? Holy Christ. Man, plus five, plus nine, and then plus 15. Lord. Oh, and then we get plus four cargo spaces there. Okay. Let's take all this stuff to the to the other dude. Let's see what he what he thinks about these. He just lives right across the way. Black tip reef shark. Nice. Finally got an abyssal one. Ooh. Wait, no, it's not abyssal. It's just different. Interesting. All right, well, I know we can hold two of these if we do it right. Man, it's just like, like dealing dealing with everything that comes with the Oregon Trail. How did we fit these in here last time? I know I fit two of these bad boys. I think it was like these. I know I how, did, how the hell did I fit two of these in here last time? What? Is it shape different? I definitely can do it if I do it that way. There we go. Of course, I'm just sh sitting out in the ocean in the middle of the night. Slowly descending into madness. Alright, so this dude. Um, take a look at these trinkets. Do not bother with common clutter. I hear that the trade in Little Morrow deals with such trivialties. Oh. Well, god dang it. Alright, where is this? Okay, Little Morrow is over there. Hopefully they're not useless. Oh, trust me, I'm ignoring it. Ooh, stingrays. The trader. You enter a bright lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at your at you over the spectacles. Hello. Is that... Oh, no, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Okay. I got a whole bunch. Ooh. Whoa, $80 for the bronze belt. 15, 25, 25, 35. And the bronze belt was the best thing I had. <laughs> Ooh, the grieving father. We'll talk to him later. I want to catch another stingray, though, if we can fit it. I don't think we can.
Which way is the... No, I don't know if that wind is actually leading us to anything in particular. if you fully panic in game. That's what we're going to try and figure out now. I think this time, because I, I am curious. We don't have anything in our inventory. I have a feeling our, I don't know if it's going to sink our boat, though. We have some messages here. Had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Morrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere. That's always good. Vessel Vessels... Ooh, oaken music box, wooden mask, 12 pieces of tea set, and a jar of earth. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Deep sky, deep sky, deep forever. Excuse me? He knows. What the hell? What's going on up in here? Search for relics. We need lumber and scrap and relics. The word dredge makes me want chicken fingies. What? Who? <laughs> what, what are you doing with your chicken fingers? Careless harvesting? What the hell? Why'd I get that as an achievement? Oh, these are shaped differently. That's why. You dredge them in flour? I have never used that word for chicken ever. <laughs> All right, so it keeps telling us we need to go behind here. We have that rock right there. I think it only pops up at night, so we got to pay attention to that. Those are the eels. Oh, I know what dredge means. I've just never used that word for food. I use the word like dunk, dip. I don't not dredge. Other D words, just 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 not dredge. Lather maybe. Need more storage. Coat, batter, dredge. Nope. Oh, what the hell was that? Oh my god, I almost pooped myself. I thought I was dying. Okay, there's a thing over here. And we're gonna check what the thing is. I bet this is where the rock comes out of nowhere. Hello? What the hell is this? Oh no, now it's following me. What the hell? What is going on? What happens if I turn off? Oh, Jesus. That's not what I want. Okay, the red thing is there. That's where we gotta go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. These weren't here before. Oh, no. What the? Oh, Christ. Ooh! Okay, we gotta figure out what the hell this is. Are they gonna crash right into us? Oh, what the hell is that? Ah! No! That's not ghost ships. That's a freaking anglerfish from hell. Ooh. 
Ooh, it's the golden key. Return to the collector. Where the hell am I right now? We have full blown lost our marbles. It stole my fish! It stole my freaking fish! That's rude as hell. And damaged my Bodie McBoat face. If we get to three damage, we sink. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding a silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. He hand him the key, and the cold metal shimmering a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head. Now someone, somehow, seemed changed smaller. Has it always been this way? Where's the lock? Screw you, collector. Oh, a burst of light fills your vision, and you stagger back briefly. Ability unlocked. Haste. Otherworldly speed at a price. Oh. Southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Okay. Okay. So now we can sprint. Haste adds speeds to, to your engines, but increases panic and engine heat. What the hell is that? Hail to the no no. Hail to the no no. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Is this still falling? Whoa! Skirt, skirt! Oh, get me the hell out of here. Oh my god, we're losing our freaking minds. Get me to the dock. Huh! Lord! Ooh, she walks toward the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you. Who are you expecting? Your engine, it sounded like... I'm sorry, I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back to the lighthouse. Aww. Sad panda day. Alright, so that thing would have sunk us. Let's repair. That would have sucked. I didn't even need scrap. I needed wood. <clears throat> hey, Rob. How are you doing? I have nothing for the fish, manga. <laughs> we had to sleep a long time to get rid of that insanity. Well, ladies and gentlemen, went a little bit longer than I anticipated because I really, really like this game. Uh, usually I keep the the new games to an hour. Um, anyways, I do hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for hanging out. And uh, we'll be back playing Small World in uh, an hour. So uh, hopefully I'll see you all then. And uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.